My name is Zoe, and in this video we are going to be learning how to do a transition movement called a ball change. So, let's get started. This movement is not too difficult and very useful and a lot of fun. So, it is called the ball change because we are going to use the ball of our foot. So, that is the part um, right not quite below your toes, just right after that. So when you stand on, uh, on point, on releve, that is what you stand on, the ball of your foot. So take one foot, put it in front, and now just to practice, step back on your other foot just on the ball of that foot. So leave the heel in the air, and then step forwards again with a flat foot. So just try that to get used to that feeling. So you're going kind of up and down. Your knees can be soft here. So not bent, but not really um, stretched either. Just kind of absorbing this stepping motion. Good, let's try that on the other side. So other foot forward, just coming back on the ball of the foot and forward on a flat foot. I'll turn to the side so you can see very clearly. The back heel stays in the air and I am coming entirely off my front foot when I come to the back. Yeah? Okay, so when you've got that, now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to make it a bit syncopated. So instead of going back, front, back, front, we're going to do back, front, back, front, back, front. So it's a little and one, and one. So this is why this move is great, because of this little syncopation. Really fun. Let's try that on the other side. So five, six, seven, eight, and one, and one, back, front, back, front. Ball flat, ball flat, ball flat, ball flat. Good. So, yeah, we want to make sure that when we come back, we are entirely shifting our weight onto that back foot, but you don't want to think of bringing your body back because then you're not going to have time to come forwards and it's going to also kind of look weird like here. So you want to think of keeping your body forwards the whole time. Yeah, even though we do bring our weight back onto that back foot, don't think about bringing your entire body back, if that makes any sense. So try to kind of think of keeping the body forwards and just having that light uh, syncopation. Back front, back front, back front. Great. So, so far this is just kind of a standard dance movement not um, specific to belly dance. We will add some arms and kind of fun things to make it a little more belly dancey in a second. Uh, just going to show you a second variation in terms of direction. So this is the most common way to use this, this back front. Another slight variation of that would be to go to the side. So in this case, your back foot, you're going to think of crossing the back foot more behind you, yeah? Cross, and then the front foot is going to uh, cross forwards. So it's kind of cross here, yeah? And cross, and cross, and cross. Let's try that on the other side. So other foot crossing back, back, and then crossing forwards, but to the side, and cross, and cross, in place, we can do that in place, and cross, and cross. So this can be fun, this little variation, if you want to travel to the side, so and one, it's a great way to do that, and one, or you can kind of come out to the side, and then come back in. That's also fun. So coming to the side, but then coming back. So that's just a little um, 
playing with the direction. But we're gonna practice both. I'm gonna show you a few arms and one more thing that I like to do with this. So for the version, just the standard back front, my, of course you can do tons of different arms. There's no set arms at all. It's very much up to you and what you like. I'm just gonna show you my personal favorite, which is to have the arms coming all the way up here. And one, I think that goes really well with this movement. So arms out and up, again, and up, other side, and up, good, and up, great. And final element I like to do here is a bit of a cambre or a back bend. Now this is not a big back bend. This is a very little back bend. Um, I can show you from the side, it would be. So it's almost more in the head and neck. Um, you're not straining your neck, of course. It's more about kind of relaxing your neck, looking up, following the line of the arms. I think it's, um, it just looks really nice, has great emphasis. So if you wanna really emphasize this move, you can do that. Um, and actually, if you really wanna emphasize it, one thing that's fun is turn to face the back and do a little bit of a bigger cambre. You don't have to, but um, in the right places in the music, that can be really fun. But in general, I would do just a little bit. So that's, um, it's just think about opening your chest up to the ceiling a bit here, keeping your lower body in place. So um, don't bend your lower back. You wanna just be opening here letting your chin come up, but not crunching the back of your neck here. So following the line of the arms and with the uh, ball change movement, you can see how nice that feels. Let's try that on the other foot. And one, good, again, and one. Great. And uh, for the version to the side, I wouldn't, you could do the arms up, but some other arms that I think are nice, either having the arms open down, I think that looks really nice. Uh, do that on the other side. And with a little look to the side, you can add that. Or if we're going to kind of come back in from that coming out, I would do maybe something like this, a little reach and then coming back in. So on the other side, and one, you can do reaching either here or with the palm up, both of those. So here or here, both of those variations. Again, I'll just show them. So one, coming back in or with the palm up and looking um, for both of those variations, I would be following my hand with my eyes. So um, those are just some ideas. Of course, you are free to do whatever arms you want, but let's put those movements together into a little combination. So we'll do both the forward version and the side version. So we will pick a leg, whichever leg you want. We will do one forwards. So and one, two, three, let the arms come up here. And then we'll do to the side. And four, five, following the hand with the eyes. And then we'll do three steps to come back into the center. Six, so crossing back. Six, seven, eight. And now we're ready to go on the other side. So we'll wait nine, 10. This is a combination in 10, eight in Samai Takil. So nine, 10. And one, two, three, to the side, five. Step, 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 wait, wait, and forwards, two, three, and side, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
and one. You can look. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And forwards, two, three, and side, five, six, seven, eight, wait, wait. And one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, yes, it's in 10-8, but I hope that you are able to get that. If not, go back, practice a few more times. We will put on the music, it's not too fast, and we will drill that. change movement with a little bit of belly dance styling added to it. Um, again, nice little transition movement, really fun because of that syncopation feel. Um, so great to throw in when the music has a syncopation in it. So yeah, really listen into your music, try to find good places to add that. Um, it's uh, really, because it kind of feels unexpected. So it, that's why I really like to use it in my dancing and choreographies and whatnot. So I do hope that you enjoyed this movement. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and happy practicing.